Hinduism is the science of how to relate with other planes and other beings. So in this video, I want to answer a question I got in a previous video, which is how to connect with, uh, how to connect with other beings from different dimensions. I welcome you with love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. I want to share uh, the cognitive shifts that I've been having regarding how to connect with other beings. So I've been with Swamiji for a few years now and I've been contemplating on the various revelations he reveals on a regular basis in satsangs, in, uh, in discourses. And uh, recently, Swamiji has been expanding a lot on beings of other dimensions and demystifying this very uh, wrong understanding of gods and goddesses uh, and how they are very much real and why are, are the, 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 the dualistic logic of today's world is unable to, to grasp the truth of gods and goddesses. So, um, fundamentally, Swamiji uh, shared that gods and goddesses are independent intelligence, ultimately powerful and ultimately free, and all of them. Uh, which seems like, in the normal logic, it's just that's impossible. Something's ultimate has to be one. There cannot be many. So that's why in today's world, we are kind of stuck in this idea, it has to be one. Without one, it's not possible. It doesn't make sense, but it does. It does make sense, but you need to uh, expand your logic. The, if you have a narrow logic and too much confusion in sitting in your inner space about life, about the universe, you will not be able to feel stable with many gods and goddesses. The only way for you to remain stable is just to follow one thing, but uh, that is not what Hinduism is all about. Hinduism is all about giving us the science of the universe and uh, Swamiji is doing that in the discourses and the programs and everything he, everything he does to enrich us, enrich the world, enrich humanity with Hinduism. So Hinduism is this science of how to relate to beings and uh, planes. Now, the, um, Swamiji was saying, like I just mentioned, all powerfulness. Every God is independent, intelligent, all-powerful. You can connect to any of them. Whomever you feel connected to does not matter. If you connect to any of them, you can manifest them in your life. And each God or Goddess will lead you to the ultimate. So, uh, everything is oneness. All gods and goddesses are oneness. Swanji was sharing. If you if you if you prefer Subram, if you feel more connected to Subramanya than to Ganesha, Ganesha is not going to be jealous about it. Like the, we have to understand that this very <laughs> the, the gods and goddesses, the the reality of universe, the the one the reality of oneness, is not like there's no there's no that 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 human logic does not function. Comparison, judgment. Uh, putting uh, putting levels to like all this eva evaluation system is man-made uh, nonsense based on dualistic logic which cannot understand anything but it, it's a discarding logic it's a it's an exclusive logic it's a violent logic it's a logic which excludes everything and only keeps one thing as truth so when you are strongly engaged with that kind of logic you will become more and more violent in your life because you're unable to accommodate more and more things in your life. On the contrary, you try to discard more and more things in your life. But Hinduism is not that. Oneness is not that. Oneness is all-inclusive. Paramashiva is all-pervading. He is the source of anything and he resides within everything. And you can access it. You can access him within you. And actually, that's the very purpose of having the human body is to realize to access that space, to realize that and to radiate that 
through the human body. So uh, there's no such thing as sin and all that. No, that's, that's a very purpose. The only reason why we take human body is for that. Everything else is okay. We might do it temporarily, but we should be very clear. That's not the purpose that might happen. Like, uh, you know, working and getting food and feeding the body. All this is okay to maintain the body. But the purpose of the body is the body is to realize. Uh, the body is supposed to support you so that you can realize your Paramashivoham. And, and, and yeah, so gods and goddesses, it's a, Swamiji says it's a relationship. You have to build the relationship. We're going to watch a quick clip now about what Swamiji shares about connecting with the various beings of the universe. Invoke cosmic being in your identity you can invoke Ganesha or Subramanya Shiva Devi Vishnu Surya any one of the cosmic being Guru Listen, invoke cosmic being in your identity. You will manifest such extraordinary energy and higher life. Understand? Fundamentally, Hinduism is science of Invoking cosmic beings in you. First thing. Get initiated and start manifesting the cosmic being in your identity. Understand Paramashiva exists. He is a living being. All powerful, all knowing. Who just creates, maintains, destroys, rejuvenates, puts in delusion, pulls out of delusion, liberates. Who plays with these tattvas and principles is a living being. Alive, who can respond to you now. Invoke him in your identity. What do you feel as you? The core of you. When you invoke him, invoking him in you needs only two things. Initiation and your conscious will persistence requesting him, asking him to manifest in you. Clarity. Hindu is a being who invokes cosmic being in his identity. Your Ishta Devata becomes your core existence. You can have, the Hinduism gives beautiful choices. You can connect with Ganesha, Subramanya, Shiva, Shiva's multiple forms, Nataraja, Kala Bhairava, Swaranagarshana Bhairava, Soma Askanda, Tyaga Raja, Arunachaleshwara, Sundareshwara, Sukha. Different forms of Paramashiva, Dakshinamurti, Veerabhadra, Different forms you can connect. Parashakti, Vishnu, Krishna, Rama, Anuman, Surya. 
you can choose your ishta devata in hindu tradition even guru cannot change your ishta devata if you say i have not chosen my ishta devata please you choose for me guru can choose but if you say i have chosen this is my ishta devata please give me the mantra he cannot say no 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 your ishta is different no the ishta devata you chose for that only guru can give mantra so it's all about building a relationship with the god or goddess that you feel connected to and that might change as your seeking expands as you expand suddenly you might have a feeling connection which moves towards a different god and that's fine so i'm just says there's no problem if you feel like you feel connected to another god suddenly then you just move towards that it doesn't matter there's no comparison there's no jealousy between gods and all these things no this is all silliness of the dualistic logic of humans uh it's not like that you connect and you build relationship when you live life you know you remember when you wake up you remember your ishta devata we call it ishta devata in in hinduism when you wake up you remember the deity you remember that form of god or that goddess that you connect to and and you everything you do you do it with the remembrance and for that god and goddess like create a very strong relationship as if the purpose of your life actually the purpose of your life is to strengthen that relationship with your ishta devata with the goddess or the god you feel connected to feeling connection building a stronger and stronger and stronger feeling connection as your feeling connection expands and grows you will see that all the lower lower experiences lower frequencies will no longer affect you you will raise 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 until you realize the space of paramashivam which is the purpose of the human life human body again so um constantly remembering your ishta devata is must when you eat before eating offer the food to your ishta devata then eat when you wake up offer okay today i'm going to exist everything that i'm going to do is for you constantly remember you know when you go to rest okay i'm surrendering now the day is over i'm surrendering everything i'm going back to you uh you know you do some work you have some success you share you go and say oh i'm grateful to you for that success if you have failure you say oh i need your support and more clarity in order to handle this situation you know it's always about building relationship strengthening the relationship no matter what you experience in life whether you go through an up or through a down you should just strengthen the relationship so as you were saying uh god is not a business relationship oh when i go bad i think about you when everything is fine i, I don't think about you no that's not that's a, that's a human relationship that's not how you relate to gods and goddesses and how you invoke gods and goddesses the stronger your feeling connection with the god or goddess you feel connected to the more that god and goddess will manifest through your body because gods and goddesses that's all they're waiting they're just waiting to manifest through but through more and more bodies they're they're blissful they're powerful and they just want to radiate that bliss and powerfulness more and more that's there's nothing else it's just it's just causeless auspiciousness causeless bliss is just blissful for no reason you just that's all you just do it just blissful there's no need you know so but what a big thing we need to remember and uh, integrate in our life is that feeling connection and building a relationship should be constant you should everything you do you should do it in the remembrance of the god and or goddess you feel connected to and uh, and like that the feeling connection goes so don't go to your god or goddess when things go bad and when things are fine you forget no when things are good, when things are auspicious successful you offer your gratitude when things are not successful or you're facing some problems you go seek help clarity uh, protection whatever but build the relationship build the relationship constantly the more you do it the more you will reintegrate yourself and the more you will fall back to that space of all powerfulness which i was talking about in a previous video i don't actually i don't know which video is going to come first but whatever uh i'll put the link at the end uh so you can watch that video where i expand more about the cognitive shifts i've been having about that uh, all powerfulness which we are so um yes so hinduism is all about that temples are all about that gods and goddesses deities are all about that 
You, uh, you find the god or goddess to which you feel the most connected to and you start to, uh, to align your life to that god and goddess. When you wake up, when you eat, when you think, when you pray, when you're happy, when you're sad, when you go to rest, when you suffer, when you have joys, when you have pleasures, when you have pains, everything. It should be in the remembrance of your Ishta Devata. And like that, you manifest more and more. Obviously, initiation of the Master is the, is the fastest path because Swamiji is in that pure space. Swamiji, uh, in the Paramashivam program, he gives Bhava Samadhi Darshans. So, at various times, he will invoke a certain god or goddess inside of his body and that god and goddess will simply radiate. And if you are entangling with Swamiji, if you're in feeling connection with Swamiji, in oneness with Swamiji at that time, if you sit and imbibe just the energy which radiates through Swamiji, uh, Swamiji's body, you will have the strongest experience of feeling connection with the Ishta Devata. So the fastest way to connect to beings is to get initiated by Guru. And if you're, if you're even more blessed, have Bhava Samadhi Darshans. And we are blessed today because Swamiji is giving us Bhava Samadhi Darshans. Bhava Samadhi Darshans means, like I said, Swamiji is invoking a specific God or Goddess and he allows that energy to radiate through the body and if you feel strongly connected to Swamiji at that moment, automatically that energy of the God and the Goddess enters you, fills you, and you will experience the auspiciousness of that God and Goddess. Remembering that all Gods and Goddesses are ultimate and they're all powerful. So uh, that's one thing. We are constantly categorizing, no? Oh no, this God seems more powerful than this. Oh, this God seems more powerful than that. We are constantly judging and, and trying to put scales and evaluate and... No, that's not how life functions. That's how our education system functions, but our education system is not at all in tune with the way life happens. And that is why we all know that education system is not the most useful thing you have in your life. Uh, how many things you've learned from school are you still learning now or you're using in your daily life today? Very, very little unless you are in a very um, specific domain. For instance, if you are a carpenter, right? So you would have learned the basics of carpenting at school and then you're implementing them. But other than these kinds of things, and these are normally not even considered a school, uh, they're more like a specification, specialized school. The specialized school is fine, but I'm talking about the general education system which, teach, which, which teaches broad things which uh, are really not necessary, especially not today because we have Google and all these things available. So, um, so education system, the logic of education system is not at all a logic you should implement in your life because it is not at all in tune with the logic of existence, the multi-dimensional logic. So uh, just to recap, Basically, gods and goddesses are real. There are various planes in existence and you can experience them in your body if you wish to. And uh, you can, you, you can manifest a god or goddess through your body at any point of time if you, are, if you decide to build a strong relationship, a strong feeling connection with that god or goddess. It is simply possible. Hinduism is the science of that. Swamiji is here for that. So that is why uh, if you're really interested and you feel really connected, really contemplate on, uh, on, on receiving initiation from Swamiji. I'll put there's some links in the descriptions below if you want to know more, if you're interested to learn more. But definitely uh, the purpose of life is for us to realize that all powerfulness. And in order to realize that all powerfulness, we need to start to cherish feeling connection in order to break the dualistic logic in which we are caught. We are basically, in today's world, we're basically slaves of the dualistic logic. We do not know how to experience ourselves outside of the dualistic logic. That, that's like how much grip the dualistic logic has on our inner space in today's world. And that is very sad and that is why uh, we are suffering a lot and we are not fulfilled in the way that we are supposed to be fulfilled uh living the human uh, this human body life so uh, that being said thank you again for watching if you have any more questions about this because i know 
gods and goddesses are real is a big statement and uh, many people might have different forms of questions if you have any questions feel free to write them down below um, I'll share whatever cognitive shifts I've been having regarding that since I have been initiated by Swamiji and, uh, and don't forget to subscribe, like, click the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a video because subscribe is not enough for some reason nowadays YouTube does not always send the videos when you subscribe but when you have the bell icon you will receive notification and that will be, uh, will be good. I'll put the links, of course, of the Swamiji's discourse in the description below as well. So uh, with all that, thank you very much for watching. Share this with people. The world needs to know the conspiracy of the dualistic logic. Dualistic logic is a conspiracy on humanity. We need to snap out of it and experience the true bliss, the eternal bliss, the all-powerfulness that we are. Uh, and uh, yes, for that, we need more of this knowledge. We need to protect Hinduism, protect our gurus, and we need to experience uh, initiation from the Guru Swamji is here for that authentic Hinduism. Jai Param Shiv Nityananda. Om Bhairava Rudraya Maha Rudraya Kala Rudraya Kalpanda Rudraya Veera Rudraya Rudra Rudraya Kora Rudraya Kora Rudraya Ardhanga Rudraya Andha Rudraya Pramanda Rudraya Chanda Rudraya Prachanda Rudraya Tanda Rudraya Shura Rudraya Veera Rudraya Bhava Rudraya Bhima Rudraya Atala Rudraya Vitala Rudraya